for they conquer us through Christ Jesus. And Father, we pray in Jesus' name, oh God, not only for the revival, but for our friends, neighbors, co-workers, those right around us that may not know you, and those who need healing and deliverance, we pray for them, not to judge anybody, Lord, but that your spirit would move on them. Let's pray for those you've been praying for. We pray for Mr. McCuffey, Lord. We, we pray that you heal him for the incident that happened to him. Uh, and he went to the emergency room. Father, we thank you, uh, God, that you have brought him through that. He's home. Father, we pray you strengthen him. And we pray, Father, for Mrs. Taylor who's in the hospital, that you would completely make her whole and heal. We pray, Father, oh God, for dear. And we pray for Mr. Lenora. We pray, Father, in Jesus' name, for Mr. Victor. And we pray, Father, oh God, for Janelle. We pray, Father, for all our church family who are sick. We pray for Dayton. We pray, Father, oh Lord, that you touch each and every one of us and make us whole. Brother Daniel, touch him. Oh God, Brother Frank, touch him. And Lord, all of us who are sick, we pray for Mr. Smith. You touch him, Father. And Lord, comfort Barry. Comfort Dean, Father. And Lord God, I pray your angels around us, Lord, strengthen us in our bodies. We pray, Father, that you continually heal Mr. Cox. We pray for Miss Victor that you will heal her. Anybody y'all are lifting up for healing, we pray for all of you every day and every morning. So I just want you to lift up anybody else you're praying for. Lord, touch them. And we pray, Father, that your spirit will move in this service in a mighty way. Let no man be exalted. Jesus Christ is Lord. Now that's good. Hallelujah. You know how many devils run when you say that? Don't let him be Lord in your life, because he shall take it over. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to turn with me. You can turn to the scripture, but I got a lot to say before you get there. It's in 2 Kings. And uh, while you're turning there and getting your heart ready to receive, you know, uh, there's no magic to receiving more of God. And you just have to want it. There's no magic to it. You know, and that's no that's no big thing about oh we are uh, uh, Holy Ghost filled. Well, Holy Ghost filled is good because the Holy Ghost is God. Hallelujah. So today, that's what I want you to think about, and I mainly want you to look at it when we talk here today. If you go to Second Kings chapter two, I want you to think about reversing curses in your own life. Because that's not going to be done because you say curse go away. All this about renouncing it, it's not going to be done that way. You can renounce it. Most of us don't want no curse on us. But the Bible says Jesus became a curse for us. Yes, sir. And what we're cursed by God is to turn things around. When man fell in the garden, we call it the fall of man, when man sinned, what God did was to reverse the effects of sin, he cursed when man mostly needed help. It's not that God was cursing him like you're a bad man. Aaron. He cursed it to turn it around. He wanted to reverse what was going to happen to man. He could have died instantly, but God just allowed what the, his disobedience to curse the earth, to curse the woman in childbirth, to curse the man. And of course, curse Satan. But I want you to see that the reversal of a curse, God has sent something to take away the curse. What he sent was his own son on, to take the curse away. And when he took the curse away, he sent someone else that is from he himself. He didn't just send his son, he sent his spirit to dwell in you. Yes, sir. You see? And the Holy Spirit is advancing every day. Since the moment he came on that day of Pentecost and sprinkled them like salt, in that upper room with fire. Mm -hmm. From that moment, he was advancing the kingdom of God. So within you, God wants you to advance against what has been cursed. He wants you to be the one to help reverse the curses by letting the Spirit dwell in you. Yes, sir. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes, yes. And it's not going to be because you desire to do something nice. It's not by power. It's not by brain. It's not by might. It's by his spirit. So you can say, go devil all you want. He ain't listening to nothing but the Holy Ghost. 
If there's no power behind what you've got to say, Jesus said, I give you power over all the work of the enemy. But that power comes through the Holy Ghost. And some of you say, go devil. I don't want no devils in my house. The devil laughing. Because you ain't got no power. It's not flesh and blood. Yes. It's by the Spirit of the living God. Yes. Today and every day, you should desire the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care what you was brought up with, what your mama said. I don't care what she, she knew as much as she needed to know. Yes, sir. But you need to know more. Yes, sir. Because there's much, much more of God. Hallelujah. 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 Look, if you go with me to 2 Kings, and I'm not going to read yet because i got to give you a little bit more. Come on, sir. <laughs> Elijah or Elisha, like some people say, just to distinguish him from Elijah. When Elijah went up in the chariot, he had a young man that had been right behind him all the time. Right there with him. And that young man got his cloak upon him. And the spirit went in this young man, but he was all over him. See, the spirit had not been given out because Christ had not died yet. So the spirit in the Old Testament was on him. The spirit before Jesus died was on the apostles. Remember when Jesus sent them out? And by 17, two by two, they had the Holy Spirit on them. He said, but guess what? A time is coming when he will be in you. Yes. Yes, sir. But now he's on this man, a double portion. You'd have more than that if you had him in you. Elisha had him a double portion of the Holy Ghost. And when he got rid of all the prophets who had seen Elijah go up, they knew that they're going to find out very soon that the spirit that was on Elisha is on Elisha. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's where we are. The prophets are in Jericho. And Jericho has been cursed by Joshua. When Joshua tore down those walls of Jericho, he gave a curse to Jericho. Jericho, everything in Jericho is cursed. No prophets are all over there. But everything over that curse. The water's cursed. It's just like our air over here. Our air curse. <laughs> you know, it, it's cursed. Because Joshua placed the curse on Jericho. And the prophets are there. But Elijah got the Holy Spirit on him in a double portion. Elisha. Excuse me, I'm going to keep saying Elisha because that will show you which one it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 19, 2 Kings chapter 2. Y'all with me? Yeah. That's right. Oh boy. The men of the city said to Elisha, Look, our Lord, look, our Lord, this town is well situated. That's Jericho. Remember, it was always well situated. Yeah. Tight, they shut up. As you can see, but the water said with me, the water is bad and the land is unproductive. Cursed. Bring me a new bowl, he said, and put salt in it. So they brought it to the prophet, Elisha, to him. Then he went out, he went out to bring to the spring and threw the salt into it, saying, saying, read it with me. This is what the Lord said. I have healed this water. Never again will it cause death or make the land unproductive. And the water has remained wholesome to this day, according to the word Elisha has spoken. Now why did the why did Elisha's word mean anything? Yes. Because he had the Holy Ghost. And he was able to reverse the curse that was on the water of Jericho. Yes. He had power to reverse the curse. He said, this is what the Lord said. Yeah. Yeah. He had said that. He ain't had that double portion from Elijah. Uh, the devil would have been laughing at him. But he had power behind his words now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He had the Holy Ghost. It wasn't in him yet, but it, because it wasn't going to be in him either because Jesus had not died yet. Yes. But he had a double portion. Mm -hmm. You don't need just a double portion. You need all of it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to be like Jeremiah was feeling. Jeremiah said, feels like fire. Shut up in my bones. Hallelujah. And even he did not have what you can have. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Today, when you listen to what I'm preaching, I want you to be ready to reverse the curses of your own life. 
Yes. Reverse the curse your teacher put on you. Yes. Reverse the curse your mama put on you. Yes. Reverse the curse your daddy put on you. Yes. Your stepdaddy, on. your pop daddy, your yes. nan daddy. I don't know what they were. Come but on. it's time for you to stop living under the people's curses. Yes. Yes. You say, well, how am I going to do that? God say, I will send you a gift from on high. Yes. A promise. Yes, sir. I, I got something that I'm going to give you that's going to dwell in you. That's going to be fire against anything that come against you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to dwell in you yes, to give you power over all the work of the enemy. Yes. God didn't mean for you to be cursed. He want to reverse the curse he put on the earth through you. He want to reverse the curse he put on man through you. He wants you to be free of curses. So he sent the gift. Say he sent me a gift. It's the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. One scripture in Mark says, everyone salted with fire. You've heard me say this before. Everyone salted with fire. You know, Elijah took that bowl of salt. It wasn't a bowl of salt. Although there was something called a salt covenant. It represented restoring the covenant of God. Yes, sir. That salt in that bowl was not just because that salt had power to make that water right. It's because it represented God's covenant with Israel. Hallelujah. And so he put salt. That was a salt covenant between God and Israel. He put that salt in that bowl and he said, the Lord says. Yes, sir. So whatever Joshua would put on you, it can be reversed today. Yes, sir. Because I'm going to speak a new word. I'm going to make a new covenant with this, with this water flowing out of here. Not by power or might, yes. but by the spirit that was on Elisha. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that power moved. And you say, why isn't the Holy Ghost moving today? Hey, I'm a testimony that he moves today as strong as he ever moved. Yes. Yes. We just got to unwrap ourselves from the world and be free and simple about our faith. Stop believing that you got to know this and that. That's some secret knowledge. There's no secret knowledge. It's a wide open fact. Come on, sir. Yes. That God wants to send you the Holy Ghost. Come on, sir. It's a wide open fact. You don't have to beg him for it. It's a gift of the living God. Yes, sir. You need to ask him for the gift because you will not reverse the curse without the power. You can't. I can think of a hundred things I must have been cursed with. I remember when I was a teenager, I used to hate alcohol. The smell of it. Despised it. My dad and friends would come in around Christmas time and I'd go in my room because I don't like the smell of it. My dad, my mama was determined. Boy, you're not going to be like your dad with that drinking. As soon as I got to LSU and as soon as they opened up beer up. I was drinking. I had lost control of myself. Was it a curse? Well, it probably was because I never wanted it before. And I enjoyed every minute of every beer I drank. Take that beer. But I was under curse. And didn't even know I was. But one day, when God took my soul, Come on, sir. one day, Come on, sir. when I went in my prayer closet, yes, sir. and I felt like water was falling down on me like the young man's going to get today, on, I went and got baptized, Come on, sir. washed, put that old man down, yes, and I was raised back up. Yes, and then I desired something more. And one day, somebody laid hands on me, and I started speaking in another tongue. On, and not by power of might, I defeated the curse yeah. of my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You too. I don't know what it is you think. If it's diabetes, I don't care what it is. If it's a generational curse, because if you out here in this day, Mr. Taylor can tell you, it's more than likely it's these chemicals that's caused most of your sicknesses. But let's say it is a, a curse upon you. Don't you receive it. High blood pressure, none of it. You say, come Holy Ghost. Come Holy Ghost. I'm ready to reverse these curses off of me. Throw a little salt in the water today. Yes. Hallelujah. Start sitting back and not knowing God gave you power over all that stuff. Don't go around saying, yeah, I'm just like my dad. I'm just like my mama. Doing the same things they used to do. You know what you need to say? God made me better than that. Yes, sir. Yes. And my mom and my daddy, they would want me to be better than them. Yes, sir. If they were here. Yes, sir.
Today I want you to say, I need some power over the work of the enemy. Yes. I'm tired of thinking what I want to think, being what I want to be. Yes, sir. Oh God, I just pray. I just want you to understand that. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'll be glad to give you service for what I see coming through that door. Hallelujah. 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 Hey guys, love you. Listen. I want you to say in your heart, you know what? I don't have to live just like I, I want to live. I can live the way God wants me to live. But I need some power. Because that enemy is strong in my life. I got to reverse this thing. Hallelujah. I got to reverse this thing and all I got is the Holy Spirit to do it with me. Yes. Today I want you to know you need to throw a little salt in the flow of your life. You need to throw a little salt in the way things been gone. Yes, sir. You need to throw a little salt in your children's way. Yes. Throw a little salt in the path they going on. Oh, yes. And say, you know what? It's time to reverse the curses today. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I want my children to be better than I was. What I look like bringing people in the world will be like me. No, I want to be like Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. I want every curse off of them. Yes, you all need to be praying right now. I want every curse off my children. Yes. Every curse off of me. Yes. Every curse off my man. Yes. with Jesus who took the curse from you and placed it on himself and then it don't end there he gave you life and yes, life more abundantly through the power of his resurrection yes, and then it don't end there he sent you the Holy Ghost yes. with power from on high yes, he told the apostles you sit there and don't you move until you get power from on high don't yes. you go out there preaching in your own strength, that devil will beat you up like he did the seven sons of Sceva. Come on, sir. No, you need some power. Yes, Stay there till I send you the gift my father promised. Yes. Hallelujah. He will pour out his spirit upon you. Yes. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Did you know that? Your children ought to be prophesying today. Yes. If only you would let the Holy Ghost fall on them. Yes. Teach them the way of God. Hallelujah. Yes. It's not by power and it's not by might. It's by His Spirit. Yes. You want them to conquer all these things in their lives? But you ain't gave them nothing. You didn't teach them anything. You thought Jesus' death was just so you can get to heaven? No, it's so you can have power over the dog of death. Come on, sir. Yes. He is powerful in this world today. Yes, He's in the White House to the outhouse. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. And the outhouse and the White House can be the same thing sometimes. The way it looks. Come on, Pastor But today, come on, Jesus. You need to stop resisting the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You people sitting there worried about what it feels like. 
It's the most wonderful feeling you've ever had. No one said. The Bible says in John 7, rivers of living water will flow out of you. Living water. He told that woman, what I got for you. You know, all them husbands you had. I got something that'll stop all that. It ain't the water out of this well you came to drink. Come on, sir. No. I got something better than that water. I have living water. Hallelujah. I have something that lives in you. Living water will flow out of you. You ain't gonna want to have no more husbands after this. See, the only way you're gonna break that curse off of you with all the men in your life is to have the Holy Ghost fill you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He knew that it wasn't all about her sinfulness. She ain't had no power over her sins. She had no power. You need to see people every day and have compassion on them. They ain't got no power over their sins. Who, who wants to be on drugs? Who really wants to be on drugs? Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on, Jesus. I see guys that when I first came here, they were beautiful people. They were looking fine. But now, they... Now they need, they need some power. Every day I see him. One young man, I see him, he looks twice as old as me. What drugs have done to him? You think he wanted to be on drugs? You think he wants to live like that? Hey, let me tell you, don't you judge nobody. What you need to know, what you need to do is know that. Don't do that. There is none like him. Is Hallelujah. 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 Today, I just want to encourage you, people. Please, bear with me. Yes, sir. Let your conversation, the Bible says, be seasoned with salt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Luke 14, salt is good unless it loses its saltiness. Don't you lose your saltiness. Hallelujah. Our church started off praying in the Spirit. Started that way. Every day. I mean every day. Power of prayers in the spirit. Prophesying in the spirit. Time builds down. We start doing things in the flesh. And we don't pray like we used to. But like Lucinda said yesterday, God's restoring our first love. He wants you to be full of him. Hallelujah. Yes. And praying in the spirit. Yes. yes. You know what? You pray in the spirit. You pray in God's will. Yep. Yes. And God's will is always good. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Come on, Jesus. And you need to pray in the spirit because you're working it all out. Yes. You don't even know what you're working out. But you know you're working it for the good. Awesome. And you're coming against curses in your life. Yes. And curses in other people's lives. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you're praying in the Holy Ghost. Yes. One scripture says, pray without ceasing. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And another one says, do not quench the spirit. Don't put out the spirit's fire. Keep praying in the spirit. Yes. Keep praying in the spirit. Yes. Just keep praying in the spirit. When it feel like your fire going out, just keep praying in the spirit. Yep. Keep praying in the spirit. Because what you got in you is greater than anything in the whole world. Yes. Can't nothing come against you. Yes. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I need some salt in the water to reverse the curses of my life. Yes, sir. Yes. I need to stop this mess and thinking I can handle it on my own. Yes. I've learned a lesson. Yes. Money can't handle it. Knowledge yes. can't handle it. No. No. Nah, people can't handle it. No. But God can. Oh, yes. I need some Holy Ghost today. I need some fire shut up in my bones. Oh. I need to speak the words of God yes, so that yes. whatever I say Come on, and everything I say move out my way. Right, it's not because I said it in the flesh. <laughs> I said it by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Today, when you just kind of speak and say, devil, get out of my house. The devil left. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no power. You got to have the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, Jesus. Did you know all of us can have? And you say, I think I got it. You probably do. But you need to know it. You need to hear it. 
you need to feel it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you come to church and say, I do feel something when I'm in church. That's the Holy Ghost. But you know what? When you ain't in church and the devil come close to you, you need to have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Some of y'all go right back home and the devil's sitting right there at your table. Sitting right there at the table. You ain't got no power. Anymore. But you better take power to yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what I want you to do? I want you to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 You say, maybe I won't get it in church, but I'm going to get it. Yes. I want you to make a determined mind. I want the Holy Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who know you have it, and you know you have it, you might be ashamed to pray. Because it don't sound like no language you've ever heard. And you may say, well, I don't need to pray in tongues to have the Holy Spirit. You really don't. Well, how do you know you're praying in the Holy Ghost? If you don't hear it for yourself. Today, I want you to put a little salt in the path of your life. And let life flow. The reverse every curse in your life. You think you can reverse it by cursing? Cursing? They don't even sound like a reverse a curse to a cursing. Cursing ain't gonna reverse no curse. Cursing don't reverse no curse. You need to, and you know, that's worse than speaking in a that the devil's tongue. Come on, sir. That thing don't do nothing. Well, make you cursing your own children every time one of them words come out your mouth. God wants you to pray in the Holy Ghost to reverse yeah. these curses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be cursing the verse to reverse the curse. Pray in the Spirit to reverse yes. the curse. Hallelujah. Today is the day to start saying, I need the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may say, well, I don't understand what that means. Just say, I receive it. Yeah. You got to be stupid like me to receive it. Only because they say, get it. Yes, sir. I won't walk out. I get it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If people told you that if you go run down the street, they're going to give you $100, you're going to run right on down the street, get it. But I can give, give you something that $100 came by. Hallelujah. Yes. A billion dollars. Come on, sir. Yes, a free gift from a little dog. Yes. And all you got to do, you don't even have to run to get it. You just need to ask for it. Yes. Open your heart up for it. Hallelujah. So let us get ready to pray. You need to desire to put a little salt in your life right now. Hallelujah. Put a little salt in your prayer life. Put a little power behind your words. Yes. Hallelujah. Put a little strength behind what you got to say. Yes, yes, yes. Instead of just saying it out loud. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray without ceasing. Pray with fire. Shut up in your bones. Reverse the curse. Reverse the curse. Reverse the curse. Yes. Stop receiving it. Reverse it in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, these are your people, Lord. You know what they need. We need you. You said our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You told us to give up our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you. You want to dwell in us, not just on the outside. You don't want to just give us a double portion. You want to give us the whole thing. Yes. Come Holy Ghost. Let tongues of fire fall on us this day. Tongues of fire. If you want to receive it, don't think by getting it. Love by getting it. Love by getting it. Just say you love God and open your heart up to receive the Holy Spirit. And don't you think the mumbling you hear is not tongues. Yes, it is. And I mow your muscle. Of how strong that language gets. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people start off with blah, 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 and some people just you don't mock it. Whatever way God put it on their tongues, you see the tongue is a powerful weapon, James says. That's why God wants your tongue to represent his glory. Yes. Because if you can tame the tongue, the Bible says, you can tame it all. Yes. You can reverse every curse if you can tame that tongue that says anything it wants to say. Isn't that right? Yes. Y'all look mighty quiet. Yes. Y'all trying to y'all trying to receive the Holy Spirit by thinking. No, receiving by believing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today, when I get ready to baptize this young man, I want you to think of your own baptism. And you know what Jesus says? What John said about Jesus? He said, "I baptize you with water for repentance, but one is coming after me, 
who is going to baptize you in fire. You know who baptizes you in the Holy Ghost? It's not your preacher. It's Jesus himself. He's the baptizer of the Holy Ghost. Did y'all know that? You get baptized in the Holy Spirit because Jesus touches you. Hallelujah. So you want a baptism in the Holy Spirit, you better have Jesus because he's the one that baptizes you in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This week I can show you scripture of every single thing I say. But today I just want you to trust me. Receive. Reverse the curses of your life. Put a little salt in your mouth. Hallelujah. Restore the covenant of God by the promise of God, which is the Holy Ghost. Almighty Father, bless your people. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon them. Come on, y'all. Just lift your hands or you can sit down in whatever way you feel comfortable to receive. Just say, I want to receive it. I want to receive it right now. And I want to release it off my tongue. I'm not letting my tongue direct me. I'm letting the Holy Spirit direct me. Loose my tongue and let me speak. Loose my tongue, devil, and let me speak. Loose my tongue and let me speak. Loose my tongue and let me pray. Loose my tongue and let me sing in the Spirit. Loose me and let me go. Fall on us today, Lord. Come, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I want you to keep believing. Don't look for magic. He's coming. If you believe what I just said, it's coming. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. This is my desire to wonder you, Lord, with all my heart, I'll worship you.